Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Gloomhaven Guildmaster. We're going to be taking the Quartermaster and the Tinkerer out this time. Uh, we've got a couple of relic quests that we're able to make a move on and both of them need looting an ornate chest in order to win so they're both good options for the Quartermaster because if we uh, if we go on to our perk option list, and in fact, let's go right down to the bottom because we haven't done any of this yet. Quartermaster loots 10 chests. We've got to do this 10 times. So it is going to take a little bit of time to be able to do that. Uh, we also need to get money um, so that we can uh, buy more equipment for him. Tinkerer needs to heal allies. That's going to happen naturally over time. Uh, what else have we got? Quartermaster using 30 items, that's going to just keep happening. Uh, and Quartermaster owns an item in every slot, that's the one that I mentioned before. Uh, in terms of the uh, Tinkerer recovering burned cards and placing negative conditions, these are likely to happen sooner. So I think, I think it's a good combination, this one. We're going to go after the Drill Power, it should give us something Pierce related, I think. So, find out what happened to a Tinkerer Prospector and recover his drill. We're going after a lot of Vipers and a lot of Hounds. Ideally, we want to be doing ranged damage against these, certainly, and against the Vipers. Well, it's good just to not have them in close. Seeing as these are all melee creatures, we might have a reasonable chance with this team. Let's just remind ourselves of what our level 2 card is that we picked up. Oh, it was Stamina Booster. Hmm. Because that allows recovery of a burned card. Yeah, I can see why we haven't got it in there yet. This is a very specific one. But the heal for range 3 is very nice. And given we're probably not going to use Reinvigorating Elixir, let's swap it over so we get a little bit of an extra heal. I think that's a, a smart call. And in terms of equipment, we've got the Piercing Bow so we can try and do some, some big wallops. Not many items over here on the Quartermaster. Alas, what was your level 2 one? It was Reforge. Refresher spent or consumed one or two handed item. Yeah, that's that's got the potential to be very useful, especially with something like the piercing bow. Let's um, let's get in and uh, see what this is about. An encounter. You have it upon a stoppered flask lying in the road, clearly dropped by some clumsy adventurer. You pick up the flask and notice that there's still a good amount inside, but you're feeling a tad thirsty. Sure, let's take a drink. What's the worst that happens? As you raise the flask to your lips, you notice the overpowering stench of strong alcohol, but decide to try nonetheless. Despite your coughing and spluttering, and likening the drink to liquid fire, your party members are all too keen to try the strong brew. With the flask now empty, you stumble onwards, slightly inebriated. You follow the map given to you by the trainer and head east out of South Shield. After a couple of hours traversing Swampland and River Tributaries, you see a row of rocky hills in the distance. Getting closer, you see the remains of an old camp at the entrance to a large cave. Could this be the Tinkerer's last adventure? You head into the cave to find out. Well... Neutralizer seems reasonable, let's go for that and Protector for the Tinkerer. I like those as options. Here we go. The cave seems to be formed of a number of chambers, but before you have a chance to search them, you hear hissing and growling. Apparently, the cave has inhabitants. It seems that these creatures have a naturally tough hide. Use your knowledge of Pierce abilities to fight your way through them all. Oh yeah, they've all got Pierce instantly. Okay. Well, that's not going to happen, but we can we can do wounds potentially. 
Got to kill all enemies in all rooms. There is three rooms to go through. Not that many enemies at the moment, and there is a trap behind. So, in fact, there's a trap behind both of them. Do we have anything that does push? Not over here, which is fine. How about on the Tinkerer? I suspect there is even less chance. Net shooter for the uh, for the bigger mobilize. Flamethrower is such a lovely card. We've got hook gun for the pull. But that's not going to be the same. Okay. So, if we're not going to be able to push them into the trap, let's think about how we're going to damage them separately. Really? I would want the Enhancement Field and something like Reviving Shock. Reviving Shock is not a large amount of damage though. So it might be better for us to focus on bigger hits or getting things like Poison out. Poison's not a bad plan. Especially if we are dealing with something like you. We can do lots of healing. Okay, let's hypothetically say Toxic Bolt and Enhancement Field. We'll step forwards, which is always a little bit risky, but we're going to go quickly. And it's going to give us a plus one to our attacks. That means that we're going to want the Quartermaster to step in and hopefully finish these guys off. Or maybe... Maybe we do it in... Well, we could do haste and step, actually. If we can get in with something. Or maybe we just go crippling bow. And sharpening kit. And we'll try and... Alright, let's switch this off for uh, Toxic Bolt. Let's instead go for that Reviving Shock. So the idea being... The Sharpening Kit is giving us plus one. Enhancement Field is giving us plus one. Reviving Shock is going to hit two things separately. Let's step back a bit. Put the Quartermaster in the way to try and block it all, and we'll do as much as we can range damage. I don't know if I like it, but it's what we're going to do. Yeah, hounds are moving in fast. Painful start. This is why we're doing it this way. Okay. Add one. We may as well go after this over the back because we're going to have disadvantage on these two. Good, solid hit. Uh, let's get Crippling Bow back. Okay. And we get the Sephiroth Aura. We'll go for both of these and we will pierce and try and just get them killed. That's unfortunate. But overall this is not bad. I think we'll go bring back reviving shock. A little bit of poison, but it's not a problem. Okay, 
haste and step and crushing hammer. Let's try and move quickly and get both of these killed. We're going to want some healing here. Double healing, so restorative mist and stamina booster. Hound is going super fast. Getting his old muddle on. Well, let's uh, try and not mess this up. Uh, absolutely perfect. Uh, well, stay where you are and just stab this one. Could not have been unluckier. Uh, stay where you are, but keep the shield. We'll at least get healed up. And if we come around this side, at least we'll have um, another character that can attack. It's going to be annoying, but it's not going to kill us. Okay, try again. So, iron, bulwark, and... Yeah, let's... Uh... Let's say restock. That's two decent attacks. Over here, I would like more healing if we could. Could, but I don't know if we've got anything else that just does it so we might have to go with something a little bit stronger very quick check on all of them we couldn't even get into a position to use these traps unfortunately Okay. Toxic Bolt and Reviving Shock. It gets us moving quickly. Quickly enough to be able to attack both of these. Let's step back out of range so we don't have the disadvantage. Oh, I did that the wrong way around. Let's uh, restart that. I meant to do the move with the Toxic Bolt. Although, actually, no. Let's let's keep it. Not every mistake is terrible. Achieve the same, uh, same end result. We're stuck in place anyway, so we can't move. Right, let's uh, grab the loot. Ink bomb and proximity mine for now. A little bit of money. And over here, step on in. Okay, now we're going to do some, some trading. So Proficiency and Reforge will allow us to uh, repair the bow that we've used. We're going to use Volatile Concoction over here to give you back one of your discarded cards, although that's not super handy. It is still better than nothing. Yeah, why not? Flamethrower Volatile Concoction. You. What do we want to not lose? Probably Crippling Bow. We're going to do a long rest anyway, so it makes very little very little effect you get back your piercing bow look at that that is that is incredible and then we're gonna move up one two three just to this side of the door okay long rest 
step on in. Let's do it with stun shot, actually. Because we're going to do a long rest on this, well, a short rest on this side. So, long rest. We will lose, I think, Impaling Spear. Or maybe we'll lose Proficiency. Okay, not bad. We need to get in, we need to do some form of damage. Let's say Crippling Bow for the damage and Impaling Spear moves this in a little bit, but not like too far. On this side, short rest. Don't mind losing that shooter. Uh, we could do a good bit of healing with the stamina booster. And we could potentially do something else like a proximity mine, depending on what happens in the next room. It's it's a decent amount of damage. It allows us some of the other some of the other options, but it's not that spectacular. Stamina boost of volatile concoction. Let's let's do that and let's trust we're gonna end up somewhere around the doorway, which is a bit of an assumption, but we'll see how big the corridor is. Open the door. Oh yeah, we're gonna end up somewhere somewhere nearby, that's for sure. We can even step back to here and still get a shot off. So that's good. So what are these guys doing? Move four, attack two, and immobilize. Move three, attack two, and immobilize. Move one, attack three, and poison. Well, you're not gonna reach. The other two will. So maybe shoot the guy in front. Getting unlucky with those minuses. However, worked in our favour. Does that actually count as having the enemy set off a trap on our turn? I really hope so, because that's that's quite nice if it did, if it does. You can have back crippling bow. No, it's on your turn or the turn of one of your summons. So it doesn't count, which is a bit of a shame. Still would have been very nice though. How do we want to do this? We can hasten step and just, we can't move away. So if we can't move away. Hasten step and restock and just do as much damage as possible on it. We get Toxic Bolt, at least it will do some poison damage. And... Potentially Enhancement Field, yeah. So Enhancement Field first of all, so we do more damage. Toxic Bolt! It's going to be at disadvantage, but we may as well pierce and cancel the disadvantage because we'll be able to reforge that. Hasten step. Stabity. Well, that worked really well. It's a shame we can't move because now we can't stab any further. Also means that restock is unfortunately less useful for us. Annoying 
poison. Okay. Iron Bulwark, hit it, do a muddle. Sharpening kit is a solid choice as well. Restorative Mist will get the poison cleared over there. And... Maybe just Ink Bomb to stab. Skip the movement, do the healing. Really, really low, low power. Iron Bulwark, let's get the muzzle on him. Oh, damn, or just, you know, obliterate him. That's what the Quartermaster does. Okay, uh, we'll do a reforge and crushing hammer to move and pick some stuff up. Uh, you'll move afterwards. Stun shot and flamethrower, that seems reasonable. We're just grabbing the loot. So reforge, get back your piercing bow. And over here. Step in and grab this one. Now we can get the quartermaster to just walk onto one of the traps. Ooh, I do like reforge, but it might be time to let it go. One, two, three, four. We can make it all the way up with hasten step. That's not a bad plan. And then something that we're not likely to use in the next room, probably crushing hammer. Although we could use that to move in. Sharpening kit. Let's get that last bit of healing. Proximity mine will get us moving in quite far. Yeah, let's try that. Uh, in fact... Rather than doing the last bit of healing over here, let's get that poison gone. That's a better use of it. And then step on down. Almost made it up. Okay, do we push in this turn? Mm, we should probably rest. Well, we could do a short rest over here. Short, we'll lose Toxic Bolt. Uh, Restorative Mist will let us heal ourselves up. And... We could use Stamina Booster to give you back one of your burned cards, which is amusing. I mean, these two could keep them themselves going for a very long time. I think we'll, we'll have that to heal ourselves and that self and adjacent allies would need to be closer. Now let's just get something to move us in one. Volatile concoction will do. And over this side, crushing hammer, potential to step in, step back and get a shield. Crippling bow allows us to take a shot. And this is gonna let us look in the room and see where the chest is. It is right at the back. You see a pile of equipment in the room. Perhaps the drill you're looking for is in there. 
So it would take one, two, three, four, five. Or we step in first, and then next turn it's four. What are you going to do? You're going to move five, attack two. Move four, attack two. Move, jump, poison. Move, jump, poison. It's quite the commitment to charge in. I think stepping back is actually the sensible option and trying to pull something onto the trap and then barrel through. Let's go after the big threat. Okay, that's not bad. Heal yourself up. And rather than stepping in and grabbing this, we could give you back a discarded card. Which I think is a smart choice, especially with something like haste and step. It's painful, but it's fine. Oh, there was another one at the back. I didn't even see that one. Okay, we can pull you onto the trap next turn. This is, uh, this is definitely going to be a bit tricky, but it's going to be fine. We want to use hook gun. Hook gun is our primary point of call. So what do we want our second thing to be? Enhancement field means we're moving very slowly. Probably not worth it. Stun shot would get us moving quickly. Okay, we'll do it that way. Uh, we want haste and step for the attack. We want restock for the attack. They're moving slowly-ish, but doing a lot of nasty piercing. So, piercing bow is gonna help out. We're gonna hit you and pull you onto this. Oh, I can only go there. Mm. Oh no, we can. Can't get more to the trap. Oh, and that still causes damage. Fine. I feel that's a little bit cheeky. But you know what else is cheeky? Charging into the room. That is very cheeky. It's going to get us out of range of that first attack. Not out of range of the second attack, but that's fine. Don't mind me, just uh, coming through. Hasten step, we'll start off here. Ooh, actually. Let's start off with the big swing. Nice. I would like that again, please. Amazing. Step on. And try and get him. Oh. Quartermaster is definitely pulling his weight. Tinker are doing a little bit of tanking. Uh, we need to get through here. Impaling Spear will hit both of them, but I can't afford to kill them this turn. At least I can't afford to kill both of them this turn. 
so what have we got that's going to do potential stunning and other things? If we get the Tinkerer to do Flamethrower and a Stamina Booster, that'll get rid of the poison on them, but it's not going to heal them. I feel like we need to back up. So let's say Reviving Shock and stamina boost it. Alternatively we burn reviving shock in order to sit in place and heal and that gives the quartermaster time to just focus on the wolf. Which is not a terrible plan. I mean this could end up killing the one on the other side which we don't want. So Minus two. That could not have been more unlucky for us. Back up one. At least we're getting gold. That was incredibly lucky. Yeah, we're going to burn a card for that. That's losing bomb. So we're going to do two things here. We're going to Stamina boosted to get rid of the poison. And then we're going to burn Reviving Shock to give us back a solid amount of health. It's got to be a short rest. It's going to be Crippling Bow. Let's say Crushing Hammer, Crippling Bow together. That could be good. You can't move quickly unless we do a short rest, so... Do a short rest. Losing restored to mist. I'm not happy about it, but we can at least get stun shot off and move away with anything else. So this is going to hopefully clear up that entry area. Then again. <laughs> Good. Step, get the gold. So, Tinkerer. You could stun this one, or you could try and kill this guy. I think getting the stun is actually the smart choice here. because otherwise you're going to get poisoned again and that's just going to be a pain in the ass. I'm glad we did that because if we'd gone here I would have been really disappointed with it. Okay, got to move quick. So, Iron Bulwark and... Restock over this side as fast as we can, which is really going to be very slow. Stamina booster to heal ourselves up and volatile concoction. We need to step in, get the stab, finally Finally, finally. Okay. Heal yourself up. And then we could give you a card back. What are you doing? Move three, jump, attack, poison. We don't want to risk him standing in the doorway. 
So we stand in the doorway ourselves. Now things get easier. Sharpening kit, hasten step. That moves one, two, three, four, five. Almost in. It is almost enough, not quite enough, to get us in there. We can start attacking and we can also move for some goodies. Zoom on through. Get the old poison healed. And over here, we could just shield ourselves. He's only going to move one. We could just back away so he can't hit us, but I think we'll go for the gold. And a decent hit as well. Uh, skip the pull. He's going to come to us anyway, so... Ow! I'm, I'm going to burn enhancement field for that. There is, there is no way I'm taking 5 damage, even like this late. That's just rude. Short rest. Okay. We want crushing hammer... Crippling bow. Short rest. Stun shot, volatile concoction. It's just out of range for crippling bow. I was hopeful, but I didn't bother counting. Get the chest. Nothing to attack. So we'll just grab what's in here. An ancient drill during your melee attack add plus two attack and pierce to the entire attack action. That is really good for the quartermaster because this can be refreshed, reforged. I'm really happy that he's got that. That's, that's going to be really good for him. And over here, we're not going to go for the stun shot. We're just going to go for a regular attack. that so we've got a choice two gold or two gold we'll get this one what a team up now the cave is empty you have time to look at the drill in more detail it certainly looks old but also powerful we didn't get the trap for the quartermaster but we did get 12 ability xp for the quartermaster so that's pretty damn good and 4 xp for doing the quest of course wow that looks like it packs a punch i wonder if i should try and manufacture a copy of it We also have the bloody axe, but we weren't going to actually use that on anyone that, uh, well, I mean, we, there are some people we could use it on, maybe on the barbarian, but the ancient drill on the quartermaster, I'm, I'm going to totally, totally utilize that. So that is three items that we've got there now really good in terms of our progress on the perks okay need to do more recovery of cards with the tinkerer i didn't do that much that time uh we also didn't have many negative conditions coming in on that particular run but i did feel like we did all right in terms of item usage, especially with the uh, the quartermaster, it's coming along well. So next time we're probably going to go after the other uh, relic quest item to help ranged attacks. Could very much go on the play herald or maybe the doom seeker. There's there's good options for that. 
Um, but that's going to have to be next time. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Gloomhaven Guildmaster. See you soon. <laughs>